Creators, you have made it to this week's news flash. If you've been here before, you know what to expect. Everything you need to know about what's coming up or what's coming out on the platform in terms of product features, content, stuff from Studio Analytics, this is the place to find it. If you are new, first thing you gotta do is like and subscribe. That helps us help get the word out to creators all across the world about all of the things I've just mentioned. It's also your channel to be able to pass feedback through to us. You can do that through comments, you can do that through the send feedback link. All right, on to this week's first update. This is a special one and it is a first of its kind. We are launching a new card in studio called the Known Issues card. What's this gonna tell you about? Any issues that might be confronting creators and preventing them from you know, uploading, features that might be acting a little bit funky or bugs that we've figured out and are working to resolve. These are the things that can really impact your experience of the platform and sometimes negatively. So we wanna make sure we call them out to you when we find them and this card is gonna be the way in which you can learn about them. Next up, we have another exciting update when it comes to YouTube analytics. Now, this is the launch of cumulative subs in analytics. And this is a long-standing creator request which is to provide data that will allow you to answer simple questions like in what year did I reach a thousand subscribers? Or in 2015, how many subscribers did I have? You can also click on see live count to view your progress, to see what's going on at any point in time and to celebrate your own milestones. Now that chart is gonna show you total subscriber counts over time and we're also launching a really cool celebratory milestone animation that will appear at 100 subscribers, 500, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, 10 million, and 100 million subscribers. So you're gonna see that total subscriber count by going to YouTube Studio, Analytics, Overview, and then the real-time card. As ever, you're gonna find a link in the description which explains all of this far more eloquently than I just have. And finally, we're expanding on an experiment that detects products in your content or related products. Now, we've experimented with this in the past and what it does is allow viewers to decide what to watch next and what to do next. This is going to apply to US viewers only. Leave us any feedback you can in the comments below. And that brings us to my favorite part of these news flashes, which is answering your questions. Now, last week, technology asked, when are we going to have real-time views based on geography as was available in Classic Studio? Well, as ever, we talked to the team and unfortunately, this isn't something they're planning on doing. They did add, we find traffic sources in real-time much more relevant to understand what's going on in your channel right now than geography, which is best analyzed over longer periods of time. And with that, that is your newsflash for this week. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them down into the comments below. I've been Connor, this has been your newsflash. Hope you have a great week from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. That's been your newsflash.